Hi, I'm Checkers, and today I'm going to tell you everything you'd want to know about a genetic condition that I have called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or as I will be referring to it, EDS. I'm just going to get straight to the point and tell you what it is. EDS is an umbrella term for many different types of connective tissue disorders, um, which are caused by a lack of or defective collagen in the body. Collagen, as you may know, is a protein that sort of acts as like a glue for the body and helps the connective tissue sort of hold everything together. And if that glue is not as strong as it should be, the body tends to be more loose and stretchy. Collagen is found in the entire body and that does include the skin. And if you have faulty collagen in your skin, it tends to do this, which is my favorite part of EDS. I think it's hilarious. It's like, you could hear that. You could fit so much liquid in there. Who wants to do a shot out of my neck? It's disgusting. Double chin, <laughs> triple, quadruple chin. Now, like I mentioned, there are many different versions of EDS. I believe there's six major types, some much more common than others, and some of the more rare types can cause much more serious health issues. Each case of EDS is different, and you'll usually notice that it affects certain parts of your body a lot and other parts not at all. And a lot of this depends on which type you have. For instance, if you have vascular EDS, your circulatory system is going to be affected. Like your veins, your actual like internal organs are going to be loose and stretchy, which is very dangerous. Any type of EDS that affects your heart or lung tissue is likely going to cause severe health complications at some point in your life. And vascular is one of the more extreme types. And I don't know everything about each type, but the information is out there. So if you want to know more, you can always just look it up and I will put some links in the description if you're interested in reading more about them. But what I can tell you is about the type that I have, which is the most common and probably the least dangerous out of all the different types, but still has its share of negative symptoms. And that is Ehlers-Danlos type two, hypermobility. Symptoms of hypermobility may include, but are not limited to, loose joints, hyperextensive skin, bruising easily, chronic joint pain, frequent dislocations, or sprains, early osteoarthritis. I'm pretty much just listing things that are wrong with my body. As you probably know, I am a contortionist and having hypermobile joints seems like a huge plus in that field, which it has been. Unfortunately, the downside to that, because my joints are so loose, is that they are also very weak. I tend to have problems mostly with my knees and ankles, my left ankle in particular. I tend to injure it pretty often, which is why I pretty much always wear my support braces, especially this one. And in my knees, it's usually just sort of a dull pain that's kind of just always there and gets worse when I have to walk a lot or stand for a long period of time. So if I know I'm going to be walking or standing, I usually will wear my knee braces as well. And it's usually my right knee that bothers me. I basically just have bad joints. I'm like your grandma. But at the same time, I can do this which your grandma probably can't do. I've also practiced that, but that's a different story. I've noticed that having EDS has made my contortion training a lot more effective, like I gain flexibility faster. For instance, if someone else without EDS and I were to train exactly the same way for a few weeks, um, by the end of it, I would probably show more improvement than the other person. But then I also have things that I perform that you can't even really train if you don't have it naturally, like dislocation of the shoulders and stuff like that. Like I can lick my elbow. And I have a short tongue too. So I think I covered everything I wanted to, I hope. If you still have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I am down to answer your questions if there's anything I may have missed. Please remember to subscribe and keep an eye out for my next video, which by popular demand will be about how to become a contortionist. Because I can just teach you that. <laughs>